Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and now the news in details about Kiyari buried in Abuja. The remains of the late chief of staff to the president, Abak Kiyari, have been laid to rest in Abuja. The body of Kiyari, who died on Friday after testing positive for the coronavirus, was interred at the Gudu Cemetery Abuja. The remains arrived at the cemetery about 11.10 a.m. in a white casket. The remains were lowered into the graves at about 11.20 a.m. The interment took place shortly after an Islamic prayer was made for him at the defense house, Matama Abuja. Top government officials participated in the burial rites, which were conducted under the supervision of the officials of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control. Wow, this is so pathetic. I'm telling you, it's going to be a very big blow to Nigerian government right now, especially in Nassau Villa because... Abakeyari played a prominent role in Nigerian government. Without we all know that be, without Buhari, there is no Abakeyari. And we are praying that may his soul rest in the perfect peace of the Lord Most High. You know, we all know what killed this man. You know, he was tested positive of coronavirus, added to the ailment that he had. So he couldn't he couldn't manage the, the ailment of the coronavirus together, you know. And to my own surprise, Nigerians were so happy because of his death. The thing is that this man has already caused a lot of havoc in the government. But nobody will wish his fellow human being to die. Nobody will wish his fellow human being to die at all. And Nigerians are saying that power belongs to God. We all should learn a lesson from the death of the the facto vice president of Nigeria, Malam Abakayari, the deadly conditions of Kaduna State Governor Malam Nase, Ahmed He Rufai, and the dethroned and deposed Imam of Kanu, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi. We all had forgotten that power is very dangerous and, in my occasions, destroyed the holders. Malam Abakayari will settle his case with his maker. Not every soul rests in perfect peace. Wow. They say it is obvious that the preaching of social distancing by NCDC was not seen or rather observed at the grave site of Abakayari. The barrier was crowded with not only government officials but, but children who came to witness the barrier. I think those people doing the barrier should be tested and quarantined for 14 days. Hmm. A message to all. When death came knocking to request for his soul, his billions couldn't save him. His influence was useless. His power was nowhere to be found. Where were his title and honors that were bestowed to him? How soon is coming, sooner or later, but how ready are we? Let us live as if tomorrow will be our last day. May his soul rest in peace. It is just so pathetic, I'm telling you. And the thing is that, all his name, all his position, where is it now? Where is it today? Every of his wrongdoing that Nigerians are saying, where is it today? The, th is, the only issue is that it just dropped a, a bad legacy on ground. That is just the only challenge that is there. You know, it is just, uh, you know, may God, may God help the government right now because I don't know how they will be able to manage the system. I don't know. Because when Apak Yari was alive, we all know the intimacy between President Muhammad Buhari and this man. In fact, they have close intimacy compared to Yemi Oshibaju. Close e intimacy. But may he so rest in the perfect peace of the law most high. You know, and Nigerians are saying that why are you people rejoicing over the death of a human being like them? Have you all forgotten that one day we shall all die? Let us judge not, not so that we will not be judged. Only heaven knows who actually is doing the right thing, which is true. Only heaven knows. Sometimes we might feel that we are doing the right thing, but we are not doing the right thing. 
I'm telling you, Nigerians were they were rejoicing because of his death. I don't think it's worth that. Because he is also human being like us. He is human being like us. It's just it's just a sad moment. That's what I can say. It's a sad moment to me. Because it's gonna affect our, the Nigerian government, whether we like it or not. It is gonna affect affect them. For them to be able to see somebody that will be like a back Yari, it's gonna be hard. I'm telling you the truth. And Nigerians are saying that allow young people to take positions. At 82 years old, what are you still doing in office, Abba? For God does, does his things in mysterious way. No fight, no quarrel, no killing. You have left silently. Some other wicked ones will pretend as if they felt his death. But we continue with their wicked ways. God is watching all of you. There is time for everything. This is a very big lesson to all our leaders. It's a big lesson to them. Maybe they will change from their wicked way also. And it's also a big lesson to every one of us. But may he so rest in, perf in perfect peace. We feel for this man. We feel for this man, it's just a sad moment at this time. It is just a sad moment at this time, you know. It's not easy. But my whole thing is that uh, the, the our leaders should, should take heart. Our leaders should, should just take heart right now and try uh, and look for a way forward to make this government work so that there will not be loopholes after his death. Because it is not easy. A man that died because of coronavirus disease is just not easy at all. And I know that other other leaders will be scared of their condition right now. Pe people like uh, Nasser Heru Fai will be definitely scared. Because recently he came out and started saying that uh, he's, uh, he's not getting well. That people should help him. People should pray for him. You know. But to my own, to my, to, 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 it baffles me when I hear that the whole thing started from our, our leaders. It baffles me seriously. But what can we do? It is what God has destiny to be. So guys, what do you think? What is your own take about this? Your comment is highly appreciated. And kindly drop your comment at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, I want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. And if you're yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will be the first person to listen to our latest news. Thank you so much and always stay safe.